So in this video, I'm going to briefly explain the structure of DNA and essentially what DNA is made of. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It's called deoxyribonucleic acid because DNA has a sugar known as deoxyribose, while compared to RNA, RNA is made of ribose. And so over here, you can see that I have a picture of DNA. And so I'm just going to point out where the deoxyribose is. So the deoxyribose is this little orange thing. So it's this orange pentagon looking thing. And that is the deoxyribose. And compared to ribose, it's deoxy because it's missing an OH group off of this carbon right there. Additionally, DNA also has a phosphate group. So that's over here, the little P. So there's a phosphate group, there's a phosphate group, there's a phosphate group, there's a phosphate group. And then lastly, the last component of DNA are nitrogenous bases. So you have four of them. So DNA has adenine right here in green, thymine right here in purple, guanine, also in purple over here, but darker purple, and cytosine in red over here. So your adenine is going to pair up with your thymine, and your guanine is going to pair up with your cytosine, and that's always the case in DNA. And I think it's also useful to briefly go over the structure of the nitrogenous basis. And so as you can see, adenine here in green looks relatively similar to guanine over here in the purple. They both have two rings. So one here, one here, one here, one here. And so they look pretty similar. So as a result, we categorize guanine and adenine as purines. Additionally, if you look at thymine over here, which is one ring, and cytosine over here, which is one ring, you can see that they look relatively similar as well. And so we categorize those, the cytosine and thymine, as pyrimidines. And so a pyrimidine is always going to bond with a purine. And as you get into higher level classes, you're probably going to need to memorize or at least be able to recognize the nitrogenous bases, so adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. And if you're planning on taking the MCAT, you're definitely going to have to do that. And one last thing I want to mention about the bases is that the adenine and the thymine, you can see here it has two hydrogen bonds to hold them together, and the guanine and the cytosine over here have three hydrogen bonds to hold them together. And in future videos, we're going to get more in depth on the structure of DNA and what nucleotides are, for example. But for now, I just want to finish off by mentioning that the backbone of DNA, so kind of imagine DNA as a ladder. And the backbone of that ladder is going to be the phosphate and the deoxyribose. So the sugar phosphate backbone, as you've probably heard of before. So that's all of this stuff right here, and all of this stuff right here. And then the middle of the ladder are the bases. And so that pretty much sums it up for this basic overview on the structure of DNA. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.